great. Well, we're going to stay on the topic of food and talk about ways to improve the health of boomers, which will in turn work to prevent further health issues. While medical advances contribute to the increasing lifespan of the average American, proper nutrition is also a major factor in slowing the aging process. There were 76 million boomers born between 1946 and 1964 in the United States, and a diet that is dependent on easy to prepare, processed and refined foods often refers often offers little nutritional value. So Trudy, let's talk about this issue and the fact that protein is really something that older Americans are needing. Yes, and we're finding they're not getting en enough protein. The Journal of American College Nutrition recommends that those who are born in that period, the boomers, um, over 50 years of old age should have 0.45 grams of protein. So less than a half, you need half a gram of protein per pound of body weight. So if you're 150 pounds, you need about 67 grams of protein a day in your body. And why do we need so much protein, particularly when we're seniors? Because of muscle mass. And when you lose muscle mass, it impacts the quality of your life. Uh, it, if you do not have enough lean muscle mass, you don't have good coordination. Your ability to get up from a standing position um, and mm -hmm. you're being more shaky and not be able to have that strength to be able to do that. More than 50% of women over 65, when they break a hip, they never walk again. And they think that's because of pre-existing muscle loss that they didn't have at the time that they broke their hip. Uh, chronic muscle loss affects 30% of people over age 50, over age 60, and 50% of the people over age 80 have chronic muscle loss. And the main cause of muscle loss is lack of protein in your diet. So what then would be ways that people can get protein? People hear the word protein and they just always think, oh, red meat. Right. Um, but that is not the only protein source. There are lots of other op options, right? Right, and meat is probably the best source, but it's very difficult, particularly for seniors, if they have chewing problems with their mm. teeth. Um, and it's very expensive sometimes if you're on a limited budget to actually get meat. So um, you need to first of all set a goal to know that you need to have that protein in your diet. And if you can do 20 grams per meal, and that's a goal. And you can start with eggs. Eggs mm. have six grams of protein per egg. Move on to some nut milk. There's almond milk, coconut milk, cashew milk, and drinking of the glass of that will give you 1.5 grams of protein every time you drink that. Bee pollen, which is denser than any other protein source, just add a tablespoon of bee pollen with every meal and you'll have four grams of protein at the end of the day. Mm. Protein powder, there's whey, there's brown rice, and pea protein, which are all you can add with one scoop, can add 20 grams of protein to wow. your meal. Stir that into your almond milk and, and for sure get additional protein. Mm -hmm. I would stay away from soy protein because of the uh, photo, phytoestrogens, mm -hmm. which can sometimes disrupt your hormones in your body. And then finally, there are vegetables that actually have protein. Good old beans, <laughs> which we love, uh, asparagus, cauliflower, broccoli are all sources of protein. So we're looking at a total amount of protein in a day, not necessarily sit down and eat a chunk of meat that'll do it. We're looking at multiple ways to make sure that it's continually getting into the body. Right. Um, each meal should have a protein source in it and for prevention. We know my book's about prevention. Well, right. we need to be preventative in making sure that we don't lose our, lose our muscle mass as we get older, and you have to start that now. You cannot wait until you're 50 to start or 65 or 70. <laughs> it's too late. You need to start building muscle mass immediately. Wow. Wonderful.